I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. Yo recuerdo. I remember. I remember the first time I saw the show ring in the Coliseum. It was breathtaking. I remember in 1975, the Supreme Champion was the first colored breed, the Ayrshire, Oak Ridge Kelly's Roset. I remember washing cows at 4 a.m. in the freezing cold with my sister, and then falling asleep in the straw with our sweet brown Swiss calves. I remember walking around in awe and seeing all of the people that come from all parts of the world. Yo recuerdo el viaje largo para llegar hasta aquí, pero valió la pena. I remember attending the expo seminars and learning firsthand from the experts. I remember eating three grilled cheese for breakfast. I remember them announcing pistachio pie. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been here for a week and the excitement has built up to this. We will name America's Supreme Champion the Supreme Champion of World Dairy Expo 2007. It's the Garden Z! Now remember Pistachio Pie. She was the only one to win the Open and Junior Show. And she was pretty. I remember when the shavings were purple. I remember when they were black. Ich erinnere mich daran, Kühe aus der Nähe zu sehen. Ich würde nur in Zeitschriften darüber lesen. I remember watching the eyes of a fourth grader light up as they touched a cow for the very first time. I remember watching the show from a thousand miles away, but feeling like I was experiencing it in Madison. I remember when it snowed. I remember when it was pouring and we were drenched sitting in the stands. But it didn't matter. Rain or shine, we look forward to the show every year. I remember when the co-op I worked for gave me and your grandmother two tickets to the opening party. They used to have a big party at Expo with a live band and we danced. Oh, how we danced. I remember when the red and white show returned in 1995. I remember milking late on Sunday night so we could see the Supreme Champion be selected. Je me souviens rencontrer de nouveaux amis et de la danse à la fête internationale. I remember the first time I walked into the exhibition hall. It seemed so big compared to the old brown tents. I remember going to Expo with my grandpa for the first time. I remember when cloning technology was the talk of the show. I remember getting a toy from the purple cow for my birthday. Yo recuerdo ver mi bandera representada cuando llegué y sentir una sensación de orgullo. I remember being so nervous stepping onto the colored shavings as a member of my school's judging team. I remember meeting my closest friends while competing in youth showmanship. I remember walking through the trade show and topping off the day with ice cream. I remember celebrating with family and friends from across North America after our homebred cow was an Expo champion. I remember. I remember. I remember. Je me souviens. I remember. Oh, how I remember. I remember, and I will never forget those moments. And here's to the next 50 years. I remember going on the air on WGN radio and saying, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to the greatest dairy show on earth. I remember standing in the cold tent with the north wind blowing and the flaps blowing open, my cameraman and I trying to hold everything together so that we could do the interviews. And I remember the most unusual exhibit I saw in the commercial area when I came in and there was a full-blown airplane sitting in the middle of the exhibit area outside. Serious airplanes decided dairy farms were getting larger and owners were going around the country. Maybe they could use an airplane 
to do that. And finally, I remember all of the live broadcasts we did at noontime. And of course, my heritage is Norwegian. You cannot give a Norwegian a microphone without getting an Ole Lena story. Very quickly, here it is, Lena's birthday approaching. She's dropping hints to Ole on what she would like for her birthday. Ole couldn't figure it out. Finally, he said, Lena, tell me, what do you want for your birthday? And she looked at him and grinned, and she said, well, I'd like something bright and shiny that could go from zero to 225 in two seconds. Ole got the message, and he bought her a bathroom scale. All right, that's taken care of. So tonight we will witness history and make new memories right here in the Coliseum during one of the greatest expo traditions of all. That's the Supreme Champion Ceremony. It is my pleasure to introduce Robert DeBrew of Madison, Wisconsin, to sing the Canadian and the American national anthems. Please rise. And please remove your hats as we salute our countries. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all thy sons' command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? O'er the land of the free and the home of the
Thank you very much, Robert. And we proudly salute all nations from around the world, whether you're here with us in Madison or with us online halfway around the world. Well, the past five days have certainly been a celebration filled with activities for all generations. We embarked upon a journey through Expo's 50 years of history, but at the same time focused on the future. Indeed, the future of the dairy industry well represented this week as 243 4-H post-secondary and collegiate daring judges from 33 states and one province made their way to Madison to judge on the colored shapings. Sunday's fitting contest drew in a record 22 participants, while 393 showmen competed in youth showmanship. The future was also represented in Expo's world-renowned trade show, where attendees had the privilege of connecting with a record 881 participating companies, companies that have demonstrated to us the latest products and finest management tools available to the global dairy industry. And a long-standing tradition from Expos gone by, we once again enthusiastically welcomed friends from around the world with 3,097 registered guests from 102 different countries taking part in the 2016 show. I'm going to ask those international guests to stand wherever you are and wave your wristbands so that we can see you and say thank you for joining us and welcome to Madison. And then during the week, we've had on display an unprecedented 2,428 head of the finest dairy cattle in the world. They have been admired in the pavilion, judged with care in the show ring, and tonight one of them will walk the golden shavings and be honored as the supreme champion of the 50th World Dairy Expo. No doubt, the dairy cattle on display are cared for by some of the world's best herds people, and we'd like to recognize one of those individuals at this time with the A.C. Whitey Thompson Memorial Award. This prestigious award is presented to the World Dairy Expo herds person who exhibits outstanding leadership and sportsmanship throughout the week of World Dairy Expo. This year's winner will join an outstanding group of individuals who really exemplify what sportsmanship is all about in the Dairy Cattle Show. I'd like to call Alan Deming, president of the Expo Board of Directors, who will assist with the presentation. The 2016 Whitey Thompson Memorial Award winner is the third generation on his family's farm after it was established in 1910 with a herd of airshares. This individual has made a large impact on the Airshare Association and the dairy industry throughout his involvement on the Airshare Association Board of Directors the National Dairy Shrine Board of Directors and the Wisconsin Purebred Dairy Cattle Association Board of Directors. He has exhibited at World Dairy Expo for all 50 years and has served on the Dairy Cattle Exhibitor Committee. In 2012, he was awarded the Airshare Master Breeder by the Airshare Association and in 2013 was the premier breeder of the International Airshare Show at World Dairy Expo. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to award this year's A.C. Whitey Thompson Award to John Dalton of Daltondale Farms, Heartland, Wisconsin. Congratulations, come forward.
is our award winner here? Oh, it's dark. Yeah, it's tough to see. He is coming. We'll wait. He didn't expect it. We didn't either. So we couldn't tell you. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a hand. John Dalton, you must have been a pup the first time you came here, huh? Oh, a little bit older than we think. Okay. Well, congratulations to you. Tonight, we will first be selecting the supreme champion of the junior show before concluding with the presentation of the Gregory Blaska Memorial Trophy to the Open Show Supreme Champion. And to help with the recognition of the junior parade, please join me in welcoming Kristen Olson. Welcome. Thank you, Orion. Certainly an honor to be here this evening in such a sacred arena, the Coliseum here at World Dairy Expo. I remember attending the show with my family at the old milk house in Barn 2 and the many memories that were made, like the year 2001 when I exhibited the red and white grand champion of the junior show, rode over, rang, ready, red. And I can't wait for these outstanding junior exhibitors to experience it and make memories for themselves. Well, this year, 747 animals were exhibited in seven junior shows. The result was a grand champion from each breed and it's now time to meet those grand champions and witness for ourselves who will earn the title of Supreme Champion of the Junior Show. Kristen? That's right. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. It is my privilege to introduce to all of you the grand champion of the Junior Ayrshire Show, Cedar Cut Burdette Clove Collada. Colada is the first cow to walk the colored shavings this evening, but it's not her first trip. The 2016 Grand Champion Female of the International Junior Ayrshire Show is the returning champion from 2015. Colada, exhibited by breeder and owner Aaron Curtis Shalak of Casanova, New York, is an excellent 91-point cow who finished her three-year-old production record of 308 days with 33,242 pounds of milk. This combination of type and milk production led Colada to obtain the title of total performance winner in both the junior and open international Ayrshire shows this year at the 2016 World Dairy Expo. Colada has an impressive show record from the past two years that includes grand champion titles at New York State Shows and the Mid-Atlantic National Show in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. 
Her large accumulation of accolades led her to be selected as the unanimous All-American Senior Three-Year-Old and unanimous Junior All-American Senior Three-Year-Old in 2015. Leading Colada this evening is 14-year-old Erin. Erin is a ninth grader this year at Casanova Junior and Senior High School. Her favorite expo memory is from last year when she won grand champion of both the Junior and Open International Airshare Shows at World Dairy Expo with Colada. And certainly she's making many more golden expo memories this evening at the 2016 show. Again, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Erin and Colada. Cutting Edge T. Delilah, the grand champion female of the International Junior Brown Swiss Show, is our next supreme champion candidate to enter the show ring. Delilah, exhibited by Kyle Barton of Ancramdale, New York, is a cutting-edge thunder daughter from Towpath Agenda Dancer. The senior three-year-old was classified very good, 89, at two years of age, and completed her two-year-old lactation with 19,406 pounds of milk. Delilah has gathered an impressive list of accomplishments over the past two years. These accomplishments include intermediate champion at the 2015 New York State Fair, 2015 All-American Dairy Show, and the 2015 and 2016 International Brown Swiss Show at World Dairy Expo. In 2015, Delilah was also named the grand champion female of the International Junior Brown Swiss Show before claiming the title once again this year. Now, leading Delilah tonight is Kyle Barton. Kyle is 18 years old. In the midst of his freshman year of school at Columbia Green Community College, where he is studying business, his favorite expo memories are tied to the time he is able to spend in the barns caring for the cattle, getting them ready for show day. Kyle would also like to thank his grandfather, Ken Main, and his partner, Peter Vale, for giving him the opportunity to show, and also Tim Kuhn and the crew for working hard to get the cows ready and looking their best at all times. A nice hand for Delilah and her leader. Now please join me in welcoming to the show ring our grand champion Guernsey of the Junior Show, Knapp's Regis Tambourine, exhibited by Austin and Landon Knapp of Epworth, Iowa. <laughs> Tambourine is a bred and owned cow sired by Marador and Hanser Regis from Knapp's Ace Tamara. The seven-year-old Guernsey is classified excellent 95 while still producing 40,160 pounds of milk throughout her last lactation. This combination of type and production led Tambourine to be named the total performance cow in the Guernsey Show at this year's World Dairy Expo. Over the past few years, Tambourine has accumulated many prestigious titles, including being named the 2015 Global Guernsey Cow of the Year unanimous All-American three times, and most recently, grand champion female of the International Junior Guernsey Show right here at the 50th anniversary of World Dairy Expo, for the third year in a row, I might add. Including Tambourine, Austin and Landon Knapp exhibited the grand champion of the Junior Guernsey Show at Expo five times. On the halter this evening is Austin, at 21 years old, this is Austin's final time that he will be walking the colored shavings as a junior exhibitor. For Austin, there are too many great memories at Expo to single out just one. He enjoys all the memories and time spent with the team and the crew that helped prepare the animals that he and Landon exhibit. Let's put our hands together to welcome Austin and Tambourine to the show ring.
Entering the show ring next is the grand champion Holstein of the junior show, Silver Maple Windhammer Camille E.T. She is exhibited by Kristen Cunningham and Miles Price of Pengrove, California. Camille is sired by Gillette Windhammer. The three-year-old cow is classified excellent 92 with a 94-point mammary system. In 2015, Camille was named the intermediate champion of the International Junior Holstein Show, helping her to clinch the title of Junior All-American Senior Two-Year-Old. Camille excelled when facing steeper competition as well, with second place finishes in the Senior Two-Year-Old class in the open shows at World Dairy Expo and the Canadian Royal Winter Fair. These successes and others added Camille and helped Camille in also being chosen as a reserve All-American and reserve All-Canadian Senior two-year-old. Leading Camille this evening is Christian Cunningham. In his first year of college at Santa Rosa Junior College, Christian is majoring in agriculture business. In 2015, he was named the California Dairy Judging State Champion. Christian's favorite expo memory happened in 2008 when he had the chance to get out of his shell and meet new friends. And since that time, meeting new people has become one of Christian's favorite parts of expo, along with, of course, being able to show Camille. A nice hand for Camille and her leader. Next to enter the spotlight this evening is our grand champion junior Jersey cow, Red Rock View Carey, exhibited by Cora Carpenter of Darlington, Wisconsin. A prime suspect daughter, bred by Colton Carpenter, Carey is the winning four-year-old cow from Wednesday's show and is classified excellent 93%. At the 2015 Wisconsin Spring Spectacular, Carrie was named the grand champion of the junior show and also best utter three-year-old in the open show. In 2015, Carrie was also named the grand champion of both the junior and open shows at the Southwest Wisconsin High Protein Show in Lancaster. A year later in 2016, Carrie reclaimed her title at that show once more as the grand champion of the junior show. Taking Carrie across the colored shavings this evening is Cora Carpenter. Cora is 17 years old and a senior at Darlington High School. Aside from winning grand champion this year, Cora's favorite expo memory was being able to bring Carrie across the colored shavings for her first time exhibiting last year. She says, I have grown up walking through the barns and trade show with my dad. I love seeing all of the exciting events at Expo. Again, let's welcome Cora and Carrie, our grand champion, Jersey of the Junior Show. Next, it is my pleasure to welcome back Maple Fudge of Twelve Oaks, Grand Champion of the International Junior Milking Shorthorn Show, owned by Ashley Brandel and Carly Krull of Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Fudge is a snappy daughter from Maple of Twelve Oaks and was bred by Terry Rabin. Fudge, a junior two-year-old, has found success in the show ring through the show season this year. She started with a grand champion title at the 2015 Jefferson County Fair, followed by the grand champion milking shorthorn of the junior show and the reserve grand champion of milking shorthorns of the open show at the 2010 Wisconsin State Fair. Leading up to World Dairy Expo, Fudge was named Grand Champion Milking Shorthorn in both the junior and open shows at the 2016 Northeast Wisconsin Protein Show. 
On the halter tonight is 10-year-old owner Ashley Brandell, a fifth grader at Lake Mills Middle School. Ashley is new to the colored savings this year, certainly doesn't show it as she has won numerous showmanship titles. Along with the grand champion title, Ashley is taking home this year. She also has many memories. She says she loves being here with her family and friends and she would like to thank her family for this opportunity. So join me as we welcome Ashley and Fudge back to the colored shavings. Last but certainly not least, routing out our grand champions competing for the title of Supreme Champion of the Junior Show at World Dairy Expo is our grand champion red and white female, Milk Source State Tammy Red E.T., owned by Grady and Lane Wendorf and Dawson and Kylie Nichols of Exonia, Wisconsin. <laughs> Tammy is a scientific destry daughter from Silver Mine Advent Tally Red. Both at Tammy and her dam Tally are scored excellent 93. As a two-year-old, Tammy completed her 365-day record with 30,977 pounds of milk. In the Expo Show Ring in 2015, Tammy was named the Intermediate Champion and Honorable Mention Grand Champion in the International Red and White Junior Show. Her successes in the show ring have led her to be named All-Canadian Red and White Young Cow in 2015 Unanimous Junior All-American Red and White Senior Three-Year-Old in 2015, and nominations for Junior All-American in 2012, 2013, and 2014, as well as All-American those same years and in 2015. Tonight, leading Tammy is Dawson Nichols. The 17-year-old is a senior this year at Watertown High School. Dawson is a very decorated dairy judge with four Wisconsin State 4-H judging titles in his name. In 2015, Dawson was recognized as a National Young Distinguished Junior Member by Holstein Association USA. All four of Tammy's junior owners, Dawson, his sister Kylie, and Grady and Lane Wendorf will hold this moment close to their heart as a favorite expo memory. Again, ladies and gentlemen, let's join me in welcoming to the ring Dawson and Tammy, our grand champion, red and white of the junior show. Well, Orion, I think it's a very tough decision for those judges this evening. Oh, I could do it very quickly. I would just throw all of them down on the floor and whichever one landed first I'd pick. <laughs> A huge congratulations to all of the juniors who have participated in this year's show, not only today, but in the youth contests and breed shows held throughout the week. While the judges tabulate and make their final decision, I'd like to invite a representative from our generous sponsors to please come to the photo area. Bomatic will be giving a 1,500 cash award to the supreme champion of the junior show. Select Sires Inc. will be presenting the Royal Brank Blanket to the supreme champion of the junior show. International Protein Sires will present a director's chair to the supreme champion of the junior show. And during each breed show, the grand champion of each breed received a $500 cash award. This award was made possible by our friends at Utter Comfort International Incorporated. And Utter Comfort, Comfort International will be giving a $1,000 cash award to the reserve grand champion. Ameriprint LLC will present the Royal Blanket for the Reserve Supreme Champion of the Junior Show. Also, Maple Lawn Farm will be presenting a director's chair in memory of Tom Lyon to the Reserve Supreme Champion of the Junior Show. 
And finally, we extend a special thank you to Farm First Dairy Cooperative for providing the specially embroidered sash that each grand champion is wearing. Alan Deming, president of the World Dairy Expo Board of Directors, will be assisting with these presentations as we wait for the judges to make their decision. Let's really show our appreciation for those very generous sponsors tonight. Thank you. One of the most important missions of the year for Alice in Dairyland. Alice, will you please bring me the envelope? Alice, you are so royal. So royal, what a royal walk. All right, Orion, it's the time that we've been waiting for. I'm ready. The 2016 World Dairy Expo Reserve Supreme Champion of the Junior Show is our brown Swiss, cutting edge T. Delilah. She was exhibited by Kyle Barton of Agramdale, New York. Congratulations. All right, I think we're ready. I think now it's time to make this announcement. From the envelope handed us by Alice, the 2016 World Dairy Expo Junior Show Supreme Champion is the Holstein. <laughs> Silver Maple Windhammer Camille E.T. exhibited by Christian Cummington and Miles Price of Pengrove, California. We'll be taking a brief intermission before resuming, resuming for the Supreme Champion Parade.
remember Nora. I remember Haley. I remember Acme Lily. I remember Ella Elevation. I remember Snickerdoodle. I remember Felicia May. Yo recuerdo a Veronica. I remember Charity. I remember watching each of these beautiful cows grace the colored shavings before they were selected. I remember the lights going down and spotlights coming up. I remember when the Supreme Champion was selected at the 50th World Dairy Expo. Who's it going to be? I remember when Karen Schaaf served as Alice in Dairyland and years later was recognized as the 2013 World Dairy Expo Dairy Woman of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome Karen Schaaf to the podium. Thank you, Orion. This week has caused me to reflect how my World Dairy Expo memories have evolved with the seasons of my life. My first expo in 1977 as Alice, then as an exhibitor to a parent proudly watching my son's exhibit, then volunteering with school groups. But while we come because of the cows, I think you'll agree that it's the people that give us the memories. Orion, you may remember that over the course of my husband's and my career, we have hosted many, many young men and women from many parts of the world who became part of our family as they experienced the U.S. dairy industry. It's always exciting to see who comes back to World Dairy Expo. And so one of my fondest memories is one year when we had so many trainees come back that we gathered trainees, kids, and cows all around the globe and took a special picture. Well, good. This truly is the international meeting place for the dairy industry. So are we ready? Because, Karen, it's now time to find out which one of these stunning cows will join the ranks of, I love these names, Charity, Snickerdoodle, and Veronica and have the honor of being uh, crowned as Supreme Champion at World Dairy Expo's 50th anniversary celebration. That's right. It's now time to introduce the seven cows that will be vying for the title of North America's Supreme Champion. To start our selection for the 2016 World Dairy Expo Supreme Champion, Let's welcome to the show ring the grand champion of the International Ayrshire Show, Margot Patagoni. Patagoni, an excellent 94 3E cow, topped her class of aged cows, six years and older, along the way claiming top bred and owned honors and best udder. She is exhibited by Margot Farm of St. Pepitois, Quebec. Margot Farm is proud to have bred both her sire, Margot Calamero, and her dam, Margot Pyrenee, making Patagonia a 100% homebred animal. She finished the show on Friday the same way she did at the Trois Rivera Show in Quebec and the Victoriaville Spring National Show in Victoriaville, Quebec, as Grand Champion Ayrshire. In 2007, Margot Farm was awarded a Canadian Master Breeder Award and has continued to breed outstanding cattle such as Patagoni. This is the first time the Margot Farms is exhibiting in Madison on the colored shavings. It's no surprise that their favorite expo memory is having the Grand Champion Ayrshire while being first time exhibitors. This is the best feeling a breeder could have, they remarked. Help me congratulate the Margot Farm on their grand champion Ayrshire, Margot Patagonia.
Next, we would like to welcome to the show ring the grand champion of the International Brown Swiss Show. This is Brown Heaven Glen Fantasy, an aged cow exhibited by Brown Haven Farm. Fantasy is classified excellent 95 and is sired by shaman B.S. Gordon Glenn. Prior to being named the grand champion at the uh, at the completion of Thursday's show, she placed first in the aged cow and was crowned best udder and top bred and owned. Now, Fantasy is no stranger to the colored shavings, having been named the first place five-year-old along with best udder and grand champion Brown Swiss of the 2015 World Dairy Expo and the reserve grand champion of the 2014 World Dairy Expo. Brown Heaven Farm of Quebec has had many honors, including having 30 all Canadians, 25 reserve all Canadians, 15 honorable mention all Canadians, along with three all American and two reserve all Americans. The Brown Heaven Farm exclaims that having grand champions at World Dairy Expo for two consecutive years is their favorite expo memory. Help me congratulate Brown Heaven Farm. Now please join me in welcoming to the ring our grand champion Guernsey cow Flambeau Manor R.O. Lauren E.T., exhibited by Stephen, Gary, and Diane Van Dorn. Lauren was bred by Flambeau Manor and is an aged cow, classified excellent 94. Her sire is Jen's Golden Pro King Royal Oak, and her dam is Flambeau Manor G. Lauren, excellent 92. Lauren was named the winning aged cow, best uttered, best bred, and owned senior and grand champion of the International Guernsey Show. She also earned many honors at World Dairy Expo, including the 2015 first five-year-old reserve senior champion, honorable mention grand champion, and the unanimous all-American five-year-old. Additionally, in 2014, Lauren was awarded with the 2014 Grand Champion, Best Udder, Best Bred and Owned, and Unanimous All-American Four-Year-Old. The Van Dorns have had many accomplishments, including breeding several national class leaders for milk and owning Flambeau Manor, which is home to 85 milking Guernseys, Jerseys, Holsteins, and Brown Swiss. Additionally, Gary Van Dorn received the Master Breeder Award in 2013. The Van Dorns started coming to Expo at an early age, and one of their greatest memories was also a dream come true when Lauren was named Grand Champion in 2014. Let's welcome Lauren, the Grand Champion, Guernsey. The next grand champion entering the show ring is She Noel Durham Arrow, our very recently named grand champion of the International Holstein Show, led by Jeanette Sheehan. Arrow, an excellent 94 point Durham daughter, exhibited by She Noel Farms of Rochester, Minnesota and was the first place six-year-old and older cow and top bred and owned and best udder in the show. Today's grand champion title is not Arrow's first this year. She was named grand champion of the Minnesota State Holstein Show, the Midwest Fall National Show, and the Minnesota State Fair. She was also named the 2014 grand champion of the Minnesota State Holstein Show 
and the 2014 Senior Champion and Reserve Grand Champion of the Midwest Fall National. While her name in the show ring is Arrow, at home she answers to Thomas. She earned the nickname while being shown as a novice spring calf by six-year-old Dylan who loved Thomas the, Tur the Tank. And the name just stuck, Thomas. She Knoll Farms began in 1965 and has proudly been a family farm for four generations, currently milking 300 cows. The family has dedicated this year's show season to Jeanette's father, who passed away in June and was the original caretaker of Thomas. This is the best way they could have ever dreamed to end the season. Without a doubt, this is their greatest expo memory. Our champion Holstein, ladies and gentlemen. For the second year in a row, Muskie Ayatollah Martha E.T. is walking the colored shavings for the Supreme Champion title. Martha is exhibited by Milk Source Genetics of Kakana, Wisconsin, and was bred by Muskie Valley Farms Limited. She has scored excellent 94 at five years of age and is sired by SC Gold Dust Paramount and her dam is Aunluk Jed Maxi E.T. At the 2016 World Dairy Expo, Martha placed first in the five-year-old cow class before meriting awards in Best Udder and Senior Champion Female as well. In addition, she won the Product Award. Martha has received numerous accolades throughout the past year including Grand Champion Jersey and Racine Reserve Supreme Champion at World Dairy Expo in 2015. The year 2015 also brought honors of unanimous All-American four-year-old, unanimous All-Canadian four-year-old, and All-Canadian Champion Cow, as well as Supreme Champion of the Royal Winter Fair. In 2015, Milk Source Genetics made history when they took home grand champions in three breeds at World Dairy Expo. Their grand champion Jersey, grand champion Red and White Holstein, and grand champion Holstein all walked the colored shavings, with their Holstein being named Supreme of the Show. Additionally, over the past years, Milk Source has been named premier breeder and exhibitor at World Dairy Expo. Please welcome the Grand Champion Jersey. Entering the show ring now is the back-to-back -back champion of the International Milking Shorthorn Show. It's Kate's Rubin Tulsa Time EXP. Her 2016 World Dairy Expo honors include first place of the five-year-old cow class, best udder, bred and owned, as well as senior champion female. This five-year-old cow is exhibited and bred by Peter Kate of Warren, New Hampshire, and is uh, sired by Innisfail Red Rubin. Tulsa comes from an impressive family history, including Tulsa's Grand Dam, Kate's Rebel Tangerine X94, who was the reserve grand champion at World Dairy Expo in 2015. This cow family has been with the Kate family for over 50 years. Tulsa's honors have been nothing short of impressive. In 2015 alone, she was the triple crown winner an award in memory of Jimmy King given to a champion of three national shows in one year. In 2015, Tulsa was named Grand Champion of the All-American Dairy Show, Grand Champion of the International Milking Shorthorn Show, 
and grand champion of the Winter National Show. 2016 has already honored Tulsa with grand champion, best utter, and best bred and owned of the Eastern National Show. A nice hand for Tulsa, our milking shorthorn champion. Finally, entering the show ring is the grand champion, Red and White Holstein. Pheasant Echoes Turvy Red E.T. She is a five-year-old cow exhibited by Kenneth Stambaugh of Westminster, Maryland. This 94-point cow with a 96-point udder was bred by Kenneth Stambaugh and sired by KHW Kite Advent. During her five-year-old lactation record, she has produced 31,000 891 pounds of milk. Thus far, her honors received while walking on the colored shavings include first place five-year-old cow, best udder, bred and owned, and senior champion female. In 2013, Turvey Red was award winner of the Maryland State Hosting Futurity and Grand Champion of the Red and White Premier National Junior Show. Besides the many awards she received at the 2016 World Dairy Expo, Turvey Red was the first five-year-old and honorable mention intermediate champion of the New York Spring Show this year. In addition to Turvey Red's many honors, her farm, Pheasant Echo, has received premier breeder and exhibitor at the Maryland State Fair for the Red and Whites. Let's welcome Turvey Red. Let's give a big round of applause for all of these champions. The Supreme Champion will be presented the Gregory Blaska Memorial Supreme Champion Trophy. The trophy, purchased from Tiffany and Company in New York, New York, is an honor and in memory of Expo visionary Greg Blaska, who served as president of World Dairy Expo for 32 years. You may have also noticed the special awards placed here in the show ring. Alan Hetz is the undisputed founding father of World Dairy Expo. Every year, the seven grand champion cows each receive an award named in his honor. As part of the 50th celebration, the Alan Hetz Awards were recreated to the likeness of the large trophies presented in the early years of the show. The grand champions will be wearing special embroidered sashes courtesy of Arethusa Farms. During the breed shows, each grand champion also received a $1,000 cash award from uh, the courtesy of Utter Comfort International. So will a representative from the following generous sponsors also please come forward to the photo area right now. The 2016 Supreme Champion will receive a $2,000 cash award courtesy of Bowmatic. A royal blanket will also be placed on the Supreme Champion courtesy of Agpro Inc. The Supreme Champion will receive a director's chair courtesy of International Protein Sires and the reserve Supreme Champion will receive a director's chair courtesy of Joe and Patty Schluter. The Reserve Supreme Champion will be receiving a $1,500 cash award courtesy of Kaufman Industries. And the Reserve Supreme Champion will be wearing a royal blanket courtesy of EZ Milking Equipment, LLC. Let's say thank you to all of these fine sponsors who give so much to the World Dairy Expo. 
Well, Orion, it's time to find out who will wear the title of World Dairy Expo Supreme Champion for 2016. Can't we work together another hour? I'm just having a good time. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I guess we won't. We don't want to keep the cows waiting. So, Alice, may we have the envelope, please? Thank you, Alice. All right, the moment we're waiting for. The Reserve Supreme Champion of the 2016 World Dairy Expo is the Holstein. She Noel Durham Arrow. Excellent 94 exhibited by She Noel Farms of Rochester, Minnesota. Congratulations. And now, another moment we have been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, because now we introduce the Golden Expo Memory in the Making. My honor to announce the 2010 World Dairy Expo Supreme Champion. And that cow is the Jersey. Musky Ayatollah Martha, exhibited by Milk Source Genetics of Kakana, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Congratulations to everyone who participated in the 2016 World Dairy Expo, and a special congratulations to those presenting on the gold shavings this evening. And as a reminder, the 2017 World Dairy Expo will take place next year on October 3rd through 7th when we discover new dairy worlds right here in Madison been a real pleasure for all of us to have you here with us tonight. We hope you made some great memories at this golden anniversary celebration of the World Dairy Expo. And here's to another 50 years. Thank you very much. Drive safely. Good night. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Well, it was an honor to be asked. I, I appreciate it.